Welcome to Glossika intro series. In this series, we will talk about the basics of languages. And in today's video, we will talk about the Central Kurdish. The Kurdish uses an Arabic based script, but the Kurdish script has a few more letters that are not available in the Arabic. Kurdish uses the Arabic numbers, and unlike Persian where some numbers were different, Kurdish and Arabic numbers are identical. Vowels. Kurdish language has seven vowels, and the vowels are e, e, u, u, o, a, a. Plural. Most words are made plural by simply adding an at the end of the word. For example, piao, piawan, shah, shahan. But if a word ends with a, then you have to remove a and then add the an. For example, name, naman, piala, pialan, froke, frokan. And if the word ends with a vowel, then add yan instead of an. For example, ala, alayan, komalga, komalgayan, mrawi, mrawiyan. Comparative and superlative. By simply adding tir at the end of an adjective, you can make it comparative. And by adding trin, you can make it superlative. For example, juan, juantir, juantirin. Gaura, gauratir, gauratirin. Bataman, batamantir, batamantirin. Definite article. For the words that end with a vowel, add ka. For example, ala, ala ka. Hermi, Hermiaka. Seara, Searaka. But if a word ends with a consonant, then add aka. For example, Ktep, Ktebaka. Piao, Piaoka. When using plural words with definite article, the k becomes can, aka becomes akan. For example, Allah, Allah can. Ktep, Ktebakan. Subject pronouns. These are the subject pronouns in Kurdish language. Min, to, au, ema, ewa, awan. Just like Persian and Turkish, when we use subject pronouns, we should also attach the personal ending for that pronoun. For example, min diktorum, to mamostai, au nakhosha. Possessive endings. These are the possessive endings in Kurdish language. For example, Ktebakam, Sayaraket, Chakatakei, Mamostakean. Indefinite article. For the words that end with a vowel, add yek, and for the words that end with a consonant, add ek. For example, Mrawi, Mrawiyek, Kteb, Ktebek. The letter Y acts as a buffer between the two vowels, since generally, in Kurdish language, two vowels shouldn't come together. To say I have something, or I don't have something, we use heya, niya. For example, searem heya, searem niya. To use it is with a noun or adjective, we attach a or ye at the end of the word. For example, Kteba, Masia, Germa, Sarda, Juana. Some more examples Nanaka, Germa, Shahaka, Berza, Kulaka, Juana. Verbs In Kurdish language, verbs in infinitive state end with n or nawa. For example, kirdin, 
خواردن شوردن فرین خواردنوه بردنوه مانوه جولانوه Just like Persian language, there are two stems in Kurdish, the past stem and the present stem. The past stem is very easy to make. Simply remove the ni at the end of the verb to make it past stem. But the present stem is a bit more difficult. Since it is difficult to predict the present stem and every verb might have a different stem, it is necessary to study the present stem for each verb separately. For the verbs that end with nawa, it's the same. Simply remove the letter N to get the past stem and present stem also is different for each verb. Past tense. It is very easy to make a past tense in Kurdish language. First, get the past stem, then add the correct ending. For example, Compound verbs. Compound verbs are very common in Kurdish language. They are made by combining a noun and a verb together. For example, to watch. Tamasha kirdin. Tamasha means look. Kirdin means to do. To do looking or to watch. To make them into the past tense, after removing the n letter, add the personal suffix between the noun and the verb and not to the end of the verb. For example, Present tense. Present tense is made by adding the plus present stem plus the personal ending. For example, the henim, the heni, the henet, the henin, the henin, the henin. In some cities and areas, the da can become a. For example, da kam becomes a kam. Da khom, a khom. Izafa is used whenever two nouns are attached together, or a noun and an adjective are attached together. For example, dargai khanwaka, kuri mamastaka. Or a noun and an adjective, khwardini khosh, khwenkari zirak. When using definite article with adjective, the e will change to a. For example, خوارنه خوشكه خوانكاره زيركه Conjunction word and. A very useful conjunction word in Kurdish is the word u, meaning and. For example, منو تو بارانو بفر لشساغو بختور Demonstrative. Demonstratives in Kurdish are made of two parts. For example, am kurra, au gula. And for plural nouns, am kurana, au gulana. Imperatives are made by taking the present stem and adding b in front of the present stem. For example, bro, bho, bka. To make the negative imperative, simply change the b to ma. For example, marro, macho, maka. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to our Glossika channel to see more videos like this. Also, please tell us in the comment section what language do you want to see next.